वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला आई एम डॉक्टर नीरू टंडन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंग्लिश वी एस एस टी कॉलेज कानपुर वी आर डिस्कसिंग पेपर ऑन लिंग्विस्टिक्स एंड दिस मॉड्यूल नंबर थर्टी थ्री टाइटल्ड अप्लाइड लिंग्विस्टिक्स हैव्स बीन रिटन बाय डॉक्टर श्रीधर मैसा इन दिस पर्टिकुलर मॉड्यूल वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट ब्रांच ऑफ लिंग्विस्टिक्स we all know that linguistics is the scientific study of language it has got various branches like socio linguistics psycho linguistics neuro linguistics and applied linguistics being applied linguistics being the very important part of linguistics needs further elaboration it is an interdisciplinary field of inquiry that addresses a broad range of language related issues it studies how language is used learned and taught linguistics which is the study of language in all its aspects including its structure its diversity how it changes and evolves how people learn and make use of it to communicate and how it is implicated in relation of power is for interest of all it provides students with an insight into the most fundamental of all human faculties develops a strong analytical skills and a foundation for work in many diverse areas linguistics is the study of human language in all its aspect to say in a broader sense it provides a methodology for exploring the structure of particular languages it investigates what is universal to all human languages how language varies over time and between different societies how language is learnt and how language is used for human communication applied linguistics is concerned with practical issues involving language in the life of the community the most important of these is the learning of second or foreign languages others include language policy multilingualism language education the preservation and revival of endangered languages and the assessment and treatment of language difficulties etc you can see that linguistics investigate what is universal to all human languages it's not only for english or hindi or french or german or spanish it when it concerns it concerns with all human languages applied linguistics is study practical issues involving language these are two important things to understand before understanding applied linguistics what is the history of this applied linguistics when did it start and how it grew the tradition of applied linguistics established itself in part as a response to the narrowing of focus in linguistics with the advent in the late 1950s of generative linguistics Although the field of applied linguistics started from Europe and the United States the field rapidly flourished in the international context Applied linguistics first concerned itself with principles and practices on the basis of linguistics in the 1960s however applied linguistics was expanded to include language assessment language policy and second language acquisition As early as 1970s applied linguistics became a problem driven field rather than theoretical linguistics including the solution of language related problems in the real world by 1990s applied linguistics had broadened including critical studies and multilingualism research in applied linguistics was shifted to the theoretical and empirical investigation of real world problems in which language is a central issue in the united states applied linguistics also began narrowly as the application of insights from structural linguistics leonard bloomfield a much heard name is the person who developed the foundation for the army specialized training program Charles C Fries who established the English language institute known as ELI at the University of Michigan in 1941 is quite famous in the field of applied linguistics in 
the research club at Michigan established language learning, a journal of applied linguistics, the first journal to bear the term applied linguistics. In Britain, a school of applied linguistics was established by J.C. Cart Ford at the University of Edinburgh in 1956. Charles Ferguson set up the Center for Applied Linguistics in Washington, D.C. in 1959. From late 1960s, applied linguistics began to establish its own identity as an interdisciplinary field of linguistics concerned with real-world language issues. The new identity was solidified by the creation of the American Association for Applied Linguistics in 1977. There are certain questions. Applied linguistics answers those questions such as, how can we teach a language? What kind of individual differences do we have in language learning? How can we write a language examination? What is correct language test? What are social influences that affect language learning? How can we advise curriculum planners and stakeholders of education? What are challenges in translation? There are essential areas of inquiry in applied linguistics to name language pedagogy and language acquisition, bilingualism and multilingualism, language assessment, discourse analysis, language planning and policy, translation studies that is machine translation, lexicography and corpus linguistics. So these are the essential areas of inquiry in applied linguistics that we discussed. Now another area to be taken care of is Second Language Acquisition, SLA. Second Language Acquisition research focuses on the developing knowledge and use of a language by children and adults who already know at least one other language. The field of research has both theoretical and practical importance. The practical importance arises from the assumption that an understanding of how languages are learned will lead to more effective teaching practices. You can see that in this chart, second or foreign language analysis has been presented. Second or foreign language can be analyzed in different ways. First is error analysis, then pragmatic features of learner's language, then developmental patterns and variability of learner language. Whenever we do any error analysis, we come to know that what are the certain mistakes, the common mistakes being committed by learners of that particular language. When we come to know about it, then our teaching of that particular language depends upon that and we do various modification accordingly. Another branch of linguistics is psycholinguistics. Psycholinguistics is a study of the mental processes during language use. Generative linguist Noam Chomsky deeply influenced psycholinguistics. Psycholinguistics focus on how humans acquire language knowledge and how knowledge is put to use. Psycholinguistics try to give very basic answers to the following questions. Do people learn their knowledge of language or is it innate? How do people acquire language, especially their first language? What happens when people produce talk? What happens when try to comprehend it? We talk about language teaching, testing and language proficiency. Several questions that I discussed are concerned with this particular thing. Foreign language proficiency, teaching and testing are important areas in applied linguistics. Foreign language proficiency, teaching and testing are strongly related to each other and understanding these aspects very important in applied linguistics. Achievement tests are based on syllabus or a textbook and intend to test how successfully students manage to learn the material covered in that textbook over a week, term or year. Progress tests are very similar to achievement tests as they intend to measure progress during a course. Proficiency tests are not related to any, any syllabus as they are intended to test a student's level of proficiency. Diagnostic tests intend for diagnosing candidates' strengths and weaknesses. Discrete point tests measure 
students language level at sentence level one at a time. Integrative tests, they test students two or more languages skill together. So these are the various language tests. Once again, you can repeat them like achievement test, progress test, proficiency test, diagnostic test, discrete point test, integrative test. If linguistics is the study of language and human speech, then applied linguistics means using your knowledge of how different languages are structured and processed to solve real life problems that involve language. The easiest example to cite is when linguistics knowledge is applied to improving how languages are taught. According to the Center for Applied Linguistics, known as CAL, formal linguistics includes five principal areas of study. Phonetics, the study of language sounds and their physical properties, that means how sounds are produced by the vocal tract and how sounds are perceived by others. The third is phonology, analyzing how sounds function in a given language or dialect. Then morphology, that is the study of the structure of works. Syntax, the study of the structure of sentences and semantics that is the study of meaning in language. All these come under the field of applied linguistics. We cannot just keep them separate. Applying formal linguistics knowledge also might involve studying how humans learn. There are many social and psychological aspects to the study and application of linguistics since languages naturally include cultural histories as well. An article by G. Richard Tucker of the Linguistic Society of America explains that the definition of applied linguistics has broadened over the years to include research in linguistics and related disciplines to solve practical problems in society. To illustrate the expanded role of applied linguistics, Tucker points out that when the International Civil Aviation Organization made English the working language for all international flight communication, applied linguists studied the kinds of linguistic problems that occur when pilots from different backgrounds communicate in a non-familiar tongue. Applied linguistics differs from linguistics mainly because of its explicit orientation towards everyday problems related to language and communication, says the International Association of Applied Linguistics. An application of linguistics might involve language planning, such as developing alphabets and grammars for unwritten languages, as well as written documents or writing dictionaries, according to the CAL. Now, computer corporations employ applied linguists to examine speech synthesis and speech recognition by automated machines. Linguists are sometimes asked to be expert witnesses in legal cases involving language. Since the field of linguistics has become more accepted as a discipline, scholars from different fields have begun to incorporate language-related topics into their work. The CAL tells us that linguistics has found its way into sociology, anthropology, language arts, foreign language learning and teaching, English as a second language, translation and interpretation, literacy and the development of language policy in countries around the world. Whatever we have discussed clears one point that whatever we learn from theories of linguistics, whatever we learn from other branches of linguistics that can be practically put into action with the study of the applied linguistics. Applied linguistics is the branch that really, really tells us how to incorporate it, how to just use it 
in our day to day life it also studies all the branches of the linguistics only because that it is concerned with all the other uh, parts of the linguistics so we cannot just avoid the applied linguistics and most of the linguistic researches are being done in this particular area we also have corpus linguistics what is it a corpus is a body of language material which exists in electronic form and which may be processed by computers for various purposes such as linguistic research corpus linguists have to collect spoken or written language data of daily use to record spoken or written data now lexicography you may ask how lexicography is concerned with linguistics particularly applied linguistics you know lexicography itself is a branch of applied linguistics it uses the insights of linguistics to a practical end lexicographers they produce and evaluate dictionary we all know that there and there are two kinds of dictionaries one is monolingual dictionaries and the second is bilingual dictionaries what do we mean by that monolingual dictionary means that the same language is being used for telling you the details of that particular word suppose i am talking about english to english dictionary that will be known as monolingual dictionary that whatever word is given the english equivalent of that word and in whatever category that word is what is the pronunciation of that word that will be given over there in english only but when we term hindi to english or english to hindi or urdu or for any language for that matter that is known as bilingual dictionaries that is purposely aimed to help the bilinguals or the people who know one language and are trying to know the other language properly the term translation studies was coined by holmes in 1972 he identified three main areas of research one theoretical translation studies like trans the text is available in one language and it is to be translated in another language then descriptive translation studies which describe act of translation itself how to translate various rules various theories and finally applied translation applied translation studies which includes translation training translation aids translation policy translation planning and translation criticism so applied linguistics is very much connected with applied translation studies as well applied linguistics finally just have it at a glance that it is an interdisciplinary field of inquiry that addresses a broad range of language related issues Second language acquisition research focuses on the developing knowledge and use of a language by children and adults who already know at least one other language. Applied linguistics is concerned with practical issues involving language in the life of the community. There are certain areas of inquiry in applied linguistics like language pedagogy, language acquisition, we have as discussed bilingualism, multilingualism, translation studies that is machine translation also uh, comes under this category then lexicography, corpus linguistics, discourse analysis etc etc. Before I conclude I will suggest you this video you will find that Noam Chomsky the famous linguist is speaking and expressing his point of view regarding linguistics in general and applied linguistics in particular let us find from the horse's mouth what is the idea of putting linguistics in the uh, practical world that is known as applied linguistics this video will really help you to understand linguistics in the proper way how Noam Chomsky describes various things in his own language in his own influential way is going to help you a lot please do watch it to sum up we can say that applied linguistics is 
a very important area of linguistic studies. Whenever researchers in the field of linguistics as well as English language teaching popularly known as ELT, they go for their researches, they take help from applied linguistics. Applied linguistics, as the name suggests, it can be applied on various other fields as well. For example, take bilingualism or multilingualism. We all know that bilingualism, bilingual is a person who knows more than one language and multilingual is a person who knows more than two languages. Now, when the person who understands more than one language, then how to make a coordination between the various languages known to him? How to just express himself in other language what you already know in one language. So all these things come under the purview of applied linguistics. Applied linguistics helps researchers to move forward regarding the way of researches being done. It also helps how to do the translation studies. How and it is specifically being used in machine translation. Machine translation is the upcoming branch of computer linguistics and there the engineers, the researchers, they are working hard for this particular thing to be incorporated in various other fields. So it is very interesting. Keep learning, keep enjoying linguistics. Thank you for visiting EPG Paatshala.